In this series of videos, you're going to discover that complex numbers are not alone. There are particular case of hyper-complex numbers in dimension 2. And there are only three possibilities. What is a point in dimension 2? What is a vector in dimension 2? And what could, should be a number in dimension 2? A point in dimension 2 is just a location on the plane. It has two coordinates. A vector in dimension 2 has two coordinates. It represents a length and a direction. It is possible to multiply a vector by a number called a scalar. This operation is called scalar multiplication. If you have two vectors, you can add the two vectors. This operation is called vector addition. But what is a number in dimension 2? We have seen that a point in dimension 2 is just a location in the plane. It has two coordinates. A vector in dimension 2 has two coordinates and it is possible to add a vector and to multiply by a number called scalar. A number in dimension 1 is the real number, for instance 3 or pi. You can add two numbers, multiply two numbers, and you can divide a number by another, which is not known. But a number in dimension 2, what is it? The first idea is to write u equal 3 to a pair of real numbers. So we obtain a new set which is a superset of the real number set. It is composed of pair of real number x, y with x and y are real numbers. And there is a special case. If y is null, well, x, y is x, zero. So we can write x, zero is x. Well, OK, we've got this new kind of number in dimension 2. For instance, u is 3, 2. But what about the addition? What does it mean to write u plus v? The first idea is to do exactly the same thing we use with vectors. So we obtain this formula. u plus v is xy plus x prime y prime, which is x plus x prime y plus y prime. The good news is that it has all the good properties. Rule number one, u plus v is an element of E. Rule number two, commutativity. Rule number three, associativity. Rule number four, identity element. Rule number five, inverse element. Let's focus on identity element. xy plus zero is xy plus zero zero, which is x plus zero, y plus zero, which is xy. It is possible to multiply our new kind of numbers by a scalar. We obtain exactly the same thing than we obtain with vectors. Scalar multiplication is defined with the following formula. a dot xy is a times x, a times y, with a a real number. By using plus and dot operation, we can write xy is x0 plus 0y. And x0 is x. What's about 0y? 0y is y dot 01. 01 is a spatial number. We write it alpha. Alpha is 01. We obtain this very interesting formula u is xy is x plus y alpha. Alpha is not a real number. Alpha is an unreal number. You can locate alpha on the plane. So far, we have created a new kind of number, numbers in dimension 2. The element of a set that we have called E. It is possible to add two numbers, U plus V, and it is possible to multiply this kind of number by a scalar, a real number, A. But what about multiplication? What does it mean, U times V? 
we have defined the formula for the addition. We could copy the formula for the multiplication and we could say that xy times x prime y prime is x times x prime y times y prime. A good idea? Well, let's focus on rule number four, the identity element rule. This rule says that u times 1 should be u, with 1 is 1, 0. Well, let's try. xy times x prime y prime is supposed to be x times x prime y times y prime. Let's try it. xy times 1 is xy times 1, 0, which is x times 1 y times 0. The result is x0. Well, it's not good. It should be xy. Well, rule number 4, the identity element rule, is broken. Our definition of the multiplication is not a good one. It is not possible to use the same formula that we have used for the addition. So what to do? You will have to wait for the next video. But remember, complex numbers are not alone.